Hi, welcome for the discussion. Here we are going to discuss about IP routing. Routing is a process of moving a packet from one network to the other network using a device known as a router in a shortest path. So there are two methods available for routing. There is static routing and dynamic routing. First of all, a static routing is a method in which the administrator manually needs to update or add a network in all the routers. So here the routers in the network learn from the administrator. So the main advantage of this method is it's easy to implement and it's secure. Then it, it don't have any overhead on resources such as CPU or memory. And the main disadvantage of a static routing is it's suitable only for a small network. When it comes to a big network, it's very complex to implement. And if, if there is any link failure, then it's difficult to reroute the traffic when we are using static routing. And the second one is a dynamic routing. A dynamic routing a method in which a router learn the network information automatically from the neighbor routers using the routing protocols. So the main advantage of a dynamic routing so it's suitable for all types of a network and even uh, if the network is huge or big it's very easy to implement and automatically it builds the routing table that's used for uh, routing the packets from one network to the other network and it reroutes the traffic even in case of a link failures. And the disadvantage of using uh, dynamic routing is in some cases it's hard to implement. And in some cases if, if, if we are not using any authentication uh, for, for, for neighbor, uh, neighborship establishment then in these cases it's less secure. And uh, it has the overhead problem. Uh, overhead problem on resources such as CPU, memory and link bandwidth etc. So this dynamic routing are divided into two types that is interior gateway protocol and exterior gateway protocol. So first of all the interior gateway protocol is a protocol that's used to share the routing information or used to share the routing updates with other routers within the same autonomous system or a same organization that is this protocol is used to share the routing updates to the other routers within the same organization or a same autonomous system. Whereas the exterior gateway protocol is used to share the routing updates between different organization or two different autonomous systems. The best example for exterior gateway routing protocol is BGP that is border gateway protocol. This protocol is used to share the routing updates between two different autonomous system or two different organization and the interior gateway protocol are further divided classified into three types that is link state routing protocol distance vector routing protocol and hybrid routing protocol so the link state routing protocol uh, is one of the type of igp that's used to, to share the routing informations within the autonomous system or within the uh, single organization uh, this this uh, this type when the routers using this type of a protocol the entire network topology will be known to all the routers and this the router will be sharing the updates only if there is any changes in the network or, or if there is any uh, updation or changes that happens in the network then at that point of time only the routers in this network will update the informations so the best example for link state routing protocol is OSPF and ISIS. It's fast convergence when compared to others. And uh, the next thing is a distance vector routing protocol. It, uh, it, it, it won't have the entire topology just like of a link state routing protocol. And uh, this is also, uh, you know, uh, it works as a root by rumor. That is for every certain period of a time. For every uh, particular period of a time, the every period of uh, certain period of a time, the routing information will be shared with the neighbors. And the main matrix used in the distance vector routing protocol is distance. And it's slow convergence when compared to the link state routing protocol. 
Then the hybrid routing protocol. This is nothing. Uh, and the best example of the distance vector routing protocol is RIC and IGRP. Then the hybrid routing protocol is nothing but that contains the advantage of both the link state routing protocol and the distance vector routing protocol. And the good example for a hybrid routing protocol is EIGRP.